Well, do you find your child or teen spending more time with friends on Facebook or Instagram, Snapchat? Just a massive part of everyone's life now. About three quarters of teenagers use social networking sites, but there's a warning out that says those sites could harm at-risk kids. Social media is a tool, and it's a tool that can be used for good, for more positive groups, for evolution. hours in the day, if I'm going to spend two of those hours on social media, then I prefer my experiences to be full of inspiration. Wow. I am addicted to the internet. I choose to scroll through Instagram aimlessly for hours on end, then look at any other piece of work that I need to do throughout the day. But why is that? Well, I use social media for two reasons, for uh, promotion and communication. Promotion because I uh, create lots of things like films and music, and communication because I like talking to friends or potential clients. However, the addictive nature of apps like Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Tinder, Reddit, the list goes on, all amalgamate into reasons why I procrastinate so much in my life. This week was really, really rough for me, and I got to kind of like a breaking point in the car earlier with mum and dad, and I said to them, I'm going to delete all of social media for seven days and just see what happens. My dad actually offered to join me uh, in doing it. Um, and then I'll document it on YouTube and go through every day, take it one day at a time and see what happens. Not for attention, but just to see what happens. So here are the rules. No use of Snapchat, Instagram, Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit or Tinder. No using mobile devices or laptops for access to those platforms. If communication is needed between friends or clients, text messages or emails are allowed. So here we go, I'm going to delete all of the apps now. Uh, just for reference, my current average uh, screen time per day is 5 hours, uh, with the most amount of time being used on Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram and Spotify. One of my friends actually did this last year uh, for I think 2 weeks, and she said to me the hardest thing was adjusting, but once you do it it's really really worth it. Right. If the internet vanished, what would you miss? Uh, the easy contact with friends because you know it's right there on the screen, you don't have to like write a letter or actually go mm -hmm. meet them in person, so it makes everything quite convenient to organise. If I'm being honest, like easier to communicate with people, so I think obviously you get, you've got your phone, it's so easy just to log on to your phone, onto Snapchat, onto Instagram, Instagram, whatever. And stemming on from that, different question, um, how much do you think it's changed over the last like decade? I think there's a lot more interaction between people nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, but it's all over, it's all over text. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people, even when you're with people, you'll be messaging other people. Yeah. Do you think that's a bad thing or a good thing? I think part of it's good and part of it's bad. So I just did a little bit of digging online and I kind of added up some of my own scores and stuff. So I actually have a few statistics for you about Snapchat. Uh, according to this website called Omnicore, uh, active Snapchatters open the app 25 times per day and uh, the average person spends 34.5 minutes per day on Snapchat and sends 34.1 messages a day. I thought that was a bit low. Apparently I send 104 per day. So it's day two, and uh, I've had quite a few frees today at college. The good thing is there's no distraction. I've just been really getting on with all this work. I've got a whole page of essay work done. Another key thing, uh, it's now been two nights, obviously, without social media, and I've had some great sleep. I've woken up on time. You know, I've, I've gone to bed quite early, and I've just had some good sleep, which is something I've struggled with for quite a while. It's been a long day today. Uh, I've had rehearsals all day and I've got a theatre exam tomorrow. And I uh, just went out to Spoons with some mates and now I've got to wait an hour before my mum picks me up. And uh, yeah, so I'll just get on with some studying. James. Yeah. 
I got a day off from college today, uh, just to recover from yesterday, and obviously I've now had two days of just non-stop theatre rehearsals and exams, and I've been really connected and immersed in my work, but it's now to the point where I'm seeing the negative side of not using social media. Today is the final day of my social media week off and I think it's now fair to offer a conclusion. Without social media in my life this week it's made a massive positive impact. For a start, the week regardless was going to be filled with challenges like my theatre exam and that ability to turn off all the distractions and just purely focus on the work at hand was really great. According to my phone my average screen time went from 5 hours a day to 1 hour and 30 minutes per day and my notifications decreased by 60%. So as I sit here and reinstall these apps, I think from this point onwards I'm going to be severely limiting my time I spend online and uh, focusing more that time into areas of uh, benefit for my career and for my studies. However, I still remain in the mindset that social media is not all doom and gloom. Nowadays it's so hard not to use it for organisation and events or just meeting up with friends or anything. We all rely on online interaction in our everyday lives. So there was a definite sense of isolation and loneliness throughout the week. So I'm actually just logging into Snapchat now for the first time. And, uh... <laughs> I just sat here for five minutes, and I realised that I really haven't missed anything at all, which is what I feared I had. Interesting. Thank you very much for watching, if you did enjoy be sure to give a like, and share around with some friends, and maybe consider a week off too.